And, and that's what it's all about. We're, we're building out that event calendar. We want to have recurring events that could be more involved and more orchestrated, but also things that are totally casual. We've got guys that just want to come sit down and talk about starting a business or um, a casual Bitcoin book club where we just come and chat about a book on an evening. It's easy to do when we have the building, right? And so you can kind of find your niche. Maybe that's the mining technical meetup. I know that will be for me. And then maybe it's, uh, maybe it's bit devs where that stuff usually goes over my head, all the cypherpunks. Um, and and it's, it's awesome to just have the venue where you can show up for the stuff you think you want to learn about or you care about or where you can add value. Welcome back to the Compass Mining Podcast. My name is Jared, and today I get to sit down with Wyatt and Tyler, who are part of the team that co-founded and is co-founding, and I'm not really sure if we should say it's in the past or in the present or if we're now in the future, the Space Denver. So Tyler, Wyatt, thank you so much for hopping on. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Glad to be here. Yeah, thanks, Jared. Sweet. So let's just jump right in. You already saw my confusion about saying, was it already founded? Is it being found? Like, <laughs> are we founding it currently? And then I know we're obviously going to get into the launch party that is slated for November 16th. With that said, where are you guys feeling right now with where the space is? And actually, before I ask that question, which one of you wants to take? Why the space? Why now? Why is it important that Denver has this? Why, why don't you get it? <laughs> well, well played. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, totally, totally. So obviously, you know, I, I think, you know, we're all very, you know, bullish on, on Bitcoin, but, you know, within like the, the greater context of Bitcoin, it's like it, it's a grassroots movement to begin with, right? So it's like, you know, people and the community, you know, have a huge part in, in making Bitcoin what it is. And so across the U.S. already, you know, there's a handful of, you know, Bitcoin Citadels, most famously, you know, Bitcoin Commons in Austin, Bitcoin Park in Nashville. There's a bunch of meetups, bit devs. There's kind of like some more uh, developed meetups. You know, it's like Bitcoin Bay, um, some incubator type things like, you know, Pleb Lab. And so we thought, why not in Denver? You know, we have like this great Bitcoin community here. We had hundreds of people show up for a having party. You know, I think, you know, Denver kind of gets, um, you know, shit on sometime from all the, the shitcoin activity here, uh, eat Denver and whatnot. But, you know, we really joke about, you know, it's like we have a very high cypherpunk to MPC ratio here, you know, in, in the front range. And so we we were very motivated to, you know, emphasize that community and, and bring the best of, of Bitcoin uh, to the greater front range. And so a little over a year ago, we got the, the brain trust together and, um, you know, some of those other meetups and, and citadels I mentioned, they were super helpful and, and gave us great advice, you know, as you commonly find in, in the Bitcoin community, very tight knit group and very supportive. Um, but those are, are generally like a top down approach. We had some sort of like investor, or, you know, group of investors that, you know, wanted to front the capital and, and start something, which is great. We just took a different approach, right? We were, you know, ground up grassroots movements <laughs> to, to sell an idea to a, a bunch of folks. And uh, and fortunately, you know, they, they trusted us to to execute. But we came together as a community, started collecting dues in, in April. And it, it was kind of a, a hard work, you know, creates your own luck sort of scenario where we got connected, you know, with a benefactor who was looking to, to buy a commercial space. It was also, you know, a longtime Bitcoiner. And so, you know, our, our paths, you know, converged because we had already started the the social aspect of, of what the, the space is. And uh, we're able to move into a beautiful building here in, in October, and we were off to the races from there. So the space is a educational nonprofit. Uh, our mission is to grow Bitcoin adoption, um, but we also, you know, go a little bit further. We do have, you know, co-working space, and we're in the, this beautiful building that facilitates itself to building, right? And that that kind of energy is infectious. It's all across Bitcoin, so we wanted to concentrate it in in one place, but. We also have like this, the social club aspect, which, you know, I think we all believe is a, a growing trend, you know, kind of, you know, post COVID, everybody's kind of like, yeah, I mean, Zoom calls are, are great, but like, let's actually get together and enjoy, you know, our, our company. And so we offer some uh, exclusive member benefits. Um, like I said, very cypherpunk focused group here. So we have some cool tech benefits for members. Uh, we have exclusive member events. Um, and so it's really just about drawing in uh, the talent uh, around us and, and trying to make a name for ourselves uh, amongst Bitcoin citadels. 
That was an excellent overview. And actually, before I pass the mic to Tyler and ask about where you guys are and kind of the launch process, it feels like it's maybe launching a, I, I don't know, a rocket into space, if you will. <laughs> I want to know what the ratio is of cyberpunk to NPC. I've never heard that, but I need to, I need that broken down. And where do you think it is in Denver? And then how will the space influence maybe a, a balancing of the force, if you will? Totally. So that's actually something Tyler and I just crafted up one day bullshitting with each other. Um, but, you know, kind of the the idea, right, is like greater front range, there's like a lot of defense industry, a lot of aerospace, you know, uh, a lot of, you know, gigabrains um, in, in various capacities. and Research been, institutes. Research institute. Yeah. So they've been kind of brought to, you know, Denver, Boulder, Colorado Springs, Fort Collins, you know, over, you know, a few decades. Also, you know, quite a few you know, crypto projects, which, you know, we're trying to bring them to, to Bitcoin, but to their credit, you know, um, we're very, you know, privacy focused or, you know, at least, you know, building in like the, the ethos of, um, you know, what our, our cypherpunk, you know, forefathers. And so that's really just kind of like a, a funny joke where it's like, we have, I've been blown away personally, as not a very technical person myself. And I'm very thankful for the space of, you know, bringing uh, a Luddite and myself along, you know, and try to teach me all these, you know, sovereign skills I need. But, you know, I would say, you know, we have, you know, Start9 here in Denver, Matt Hill and the team have, have done a great job, you know, bringing a uh, sovereign tech stack, you know, to market. We have, you know, System76, which is a Linux-based, you know, computer company. Uh, and so there's just kind of like this manifest destiny, Western frontier, you know, that, you know, it's just kind of like, innate you know within the the people here in the front range and so we're just trying to tap into that and, and make them all bitcoiners amazing amazing i'm sure i'll i'll, I'll die I, i'm interested to get to denver and see what that ratio looks like i haven't been to denver for maybe a decade now so i'm interested to get out there and i know like every single city in the entire world everything looks different after covid so excited to see what that landscape looks like tyler you did a nice little pass in that first question and he threw the hot potato <laughs> yeah. to wyatt but it's coming back to you he's good at it he's yeah it's so where is the launch now and i say that because i feel like you guys are up you're using the space but you haven't had that fully kind of like the debutante here we are to society i know that we have we're going to talk about the list of things that maybe push to that but where do you feel like the launch is right now and what are some things that you're kind of bullish on even in the next week or two weeks maybe before we get to the bitcoin technical meetup that compass will be hosting totally yeah, it's funny you ask this because I find myself like looking at emails or sending messages or going on websites and it, I still sometimes will say like upcoming. It's just like upcoming, but it, it's here, right? And so our launch has been um, going through this process, why it kind of described this uh, unique nature to our organization. That's kind of why we stumbled through the co-founders, founders, the phase at the beginning of the intro, because there's so many of us that really just put this together by um giving our time and our energy to make it happen. Our launch is totally here. We opened on the 1st of October. We have the building open to our members. There's co-working access. People are coming in and out every day. Um, we've got happy hours in the evenings. People just come in, hang out and chat. But then we also are planning to do formal, um, formal events that recur on a monthly basis um, in the near future. So we're building out that calendar. Wyatt uh, kickstarted it last night with the first use of the event room. And we got the TV mounted. We literally were building a stage and mounting a TV, drilling holes last weekend, just so that he could have it ready for this event. And it, and it was excellent. We had around 50 people there, a caterer, a bartender, um, got some new eyes on the building, some members, some non-members. And, and that's what it's all about. We're, we're building out that content calendar, that event calendar. We want to have recurring events that could be more involved and more orchestrated, but also things that are totally casual. We've got guys that just want to come sit down and talk about starting a business or um, a casual Bitcoin book club where we just come and chat about a book on an evening. It's easy to do when we have the building, right? And so you can kind of find your niche. Maybe that's the mining technical meetup. I know that will be for me. And then maybe it's, uh, maybe it's bit devs where that stuff usually goes over my head, all the cypherpunks. Um, and and it's, it's awesome to just have the venue where you can show up for the stuff you think you want to learn about or you care about or where you can add value. Yeah, that's super well said. I'm, jealous that you guys are there and doing this because i'm in bogota colombia right now and while it's a city of 10 million people it's the size of new york city both in population and size there's still not enough groundswell there seems to be a la the blockchain very decentralized little pieces of people but there's not that like here's 2,000 square feet you know 
a place where we can put up a bar, have a speaker, get the TV mounted on the wall and, and kind of have that space without it being kind of like rented out. And when it's rented out, it's just not, it's just not always there. And so I think of, you know, if you build it, they will come and you guys are building it. And so people are going to start to, 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 to show up, which is great. And so I think we should just jump right in to that second week of this, uh, November, excuse me, and get right into the menu of items. And I personally would like to start and just ask you guys, if you could, why you're so excited to be collaborating with Compass. As Tyler just alluded to, and I think I mentioned earlier, we will be having a technical Bitcoin mining meetup on the 14th. And there's going to be a bunch of information we're going to go over here. And I promise I'm going to put it all in the link, um, you know, in the description of this episode. So please be sure to check that out. We're going to have a technical Bitcoin mining meetup. Tyler, you said you're excited about that. What excites you about that? And what excites you about also having Compass being one of the, you know, founding sponsors? Yeah, I'm excited for the mining meetups and Compass being a founding sponsor, particularly because I think that, you know, we're pretty aware that Bitcoin is niche. We have people in our lives that don't get it. They don't want to listen about it. And then maybe they're crypto, Bitcoin's niche, you know, the technical part of Bitcoin is niche. If they are even into it, many people are into it for the financial benefits, the number go up, right? Um, that's kind of how you introduce yourself to it. I think mining is like one of the last things people really learn about. You know, it's, it's blue collar, it's related to the energy industry, it's different, it's technical, it's cypherpunk, it's all these things coming together. And so I think it's important for people to understand why proof of work process is necessary, um, how it's performed the, the big companies like compass that are doing great work to um, get hash rate online how you can get into that you can host your own hash rate i think that's fascinating and um all of this is important because it's it's how the coins are issued like you can't just buy bitcoin from the exchange it's got to come from somewhere so going all the way back to the source i think it, it's it's relevant to know and and then furthermore why i think it's a great uh partnership with compass in denver is a lot of the staff is here and we've learned a lot from them. You know, we've had a couple bit devs meetups where the compass guys, Shannon and Tatum and Eli, and these guys will come and um, educate our local community about mining, which has been super fascinating and valuable to me personally, uh, just kind of how my brain works. I love that stuff. And so that on a more regular basis is going to be really exciting. I think it's going to benefit our com community greatly. Yeah. I'm, like I said, I'm kind of jealous that you guys have this and it's right near where we have so many of our employees that are on the ground, because as you've called out Shannon, Eli Tatum, these are dudes who can like, they're knee deep in Bitcoin and they understand it. And even I was talking with Tatum about Nostra about a week ago and he was just blowing me away at his knowledge. And I felt like when I first got into like Bitcoin and crypto and I was like wrapping my head around what the blockchain, what's decentralized, what's permissionless. I didn't know I was living in a permissioned, you know, society as an NPC, right? So <laughs> we have the meetup on the 14th. There's going to be more information coming out about that, but make sure you check the link in the description. I think for us on the compass side, it's exactly what Wyatt laid out in the beginning when he was talking about what's the reason it's education and community and creating community through education. And I'm just so excited to see where that goes. Cause I think once you set up a monthly event and you just show up the third month and the fourth month and the fifth month, and people can start to rely on, Hey, I'm going to go to the Bitcoin technical meetup. It's this Thursday. I'm so excited to go. Those types of things are just going it, to, it's, it's like, it's going to take a little time, I think, but I'm so excited that when Bitcoin crosses, hopefully 100K in the spring, or maybe by the end of the year, people are going to come out the woodwork to, to, to show up to that, to really try to wrap their head around what is Bitcoin mining. And one of the things also is that I feel like in the conversations around Bitcoin, they normally get tied, obviously, as you were just saying, Tyler, to number go up. So to be able to have a space where you can come and ask questions and have professionals who are in this day and night night and day, as I say, 25 hours a day mining Bitcoin to be able to sit with you, answer questions, probably even have an ASIC around. Most people have never even seen an ASIC. These are just going to be great things. And I know that we have a schedule of items and you know stuff we're going to talk about at each Bitcoin meetup, kind of the menu of, hey, this meetup, we want to talk about this part of mining. This next meetup, we want to look at this. Um, always leaving room for the fact that there's going to be things that come up that now we need to talk about. There's going to be new tech that comes out. There's always, there's new miners coming out, I feel like every couple months. And so to be able to dive into that in person is going to be, is going to be a, a great benefit. Uh, Jared, just before we uh, move on, one thing I'd like to say about the technical meetup and we're super you know appreciative and, and thankful for the the partnership with compass it's it is like very important to us and you know special to us you know it's like 
I, the a phrase I hope I never hear again is like, we're in this chicken and egg problem. And, uh, <laughs> that you brought up earlier, Jerry, is what, like when we were, you know, hacking things together in like the springs, like, well, how do we get the buildings? Like people don't want to join until we have a building, but if we don't have a treasure, then we can't get a building. And so it's just like, you guys took a leap of faith on us and we're just like, nope, this is cool. We want in. And so we're, we're super appreciative of that. And just talking, you know, with you, Ryan and, and Curtis, you know, Curtis even helped me get excited about the space. It was like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's right. You know, and so he's just like this phenomenal Bitcoin of this travel the country, making effort to like go to you know, meetups in, you know, all sorts of different communities. And so what I'm really excited about is as much as I love Bitcoin and Bitcoiners, you know, one thing I think we can improve on is like, there's like this rejection of like professionalism or like corporate, like professionalism, you know, a lot in the Bitcoin community. And so it's like, I get it to a, you know, a big extent, but at the same time, it's like, well, there's a lot of, you know, practices like we can bring like to the Bitcoin community to just like make Bitcoin better, especially when it comes to running Bitcoin businesses, especially very, you know, capital intensive technical Bitcoin businesses like Compass. And so I'm really excited that you guys are kind of bringing together this, this business community, you know, within Bitcoin and, and really focusing on educating, you know, not only newcomers, but like your peer group on this, like, how do we do this? How do we, you know, all become better. How do we, you know, get big brains in the, in the same place? And so I'm, I'm totally pumped that's happening at the space and I couldn't be more excited for you guys taking that, that on. Yeah, absolutely. And I was already pushing to talk about dirty coin and I'm glad that you kind of hopped in there because I do think that for, for us and I'll speak for compass and maybe I'm, I guess I'm the ambassador on this call for compass, but <laughs> in anything in Bitcoin, it's like, everything always, even if it seems quote risky, right? If your risk profile is like, ah, I don't know. I found, and maybe I'm sure you guys have as most Bitcoiners have found or anyone getting even into mining, the sooner you just get into it, the better. And normally within a year or two, whatever you thought was risky turns out to be the best decision you've probably made out of the decision set you had at the time. So for us, I don't really think it's, it's a risk at all to, to, to sit and say, you know what, we have a lot of employees on the ground in Denver. Wouldn't it be great to be able to support this new space that is going to be on the map of like very, you know, a handful of spaces across the United States, which is one of the places that has like the most Bitcoiners, has the most Bitcoin mining hash rate probably, you know, across the globe, maybe out of any country other than maybe China. So it's like, I think it makes sense. And I think it's, if anything, it's, it just, it just totally aligns with what we're trying to do. And for Curtis and myself and the media team from the media perspective, we are totally trying to lead with content and lead with educational content have conversations like this that people can kind of chime into and say, wow, I'm in Denver. I'm a Bitcoiner. I had no idea this thing even existed. You know, let me, let me go down. Let me talk to Wyatt. Let me find Tyler. Let me figure out what the member dues are. Let me try to go to some of their events that they've talked about in this podcast. I, I think it's just great. And yeah, I'm sure you guys had for a while been thinking about the chicken and the egg. You wanted to create the community, yeah. but maybe didn't have the resources to go out and procure real estate, right? So finding that benefactor, it just seems like it's kind of like divine timing. Um, but yeah, thank you for saying that. And, and I think for us, it's, it's, it's like a win, 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 you know, it's where one and one equals three. And that sounds super cliche. And I know I sound like a VC or something, but I, I think it just, I think it makes sense all around. Right. So, um, and sorry, yes, thank you for, for hopping in. I wanted to, to jump right to dirty coin because I think dirty coin is another mining related educational moment. Um, I was recently able to see dirty coin. I got the screening cause I had Alana on this podcast. She was on a couple episodes ago and I was just blown away. I'm highly aware that Bitcoin mining is not bad for the environment, right? We get that a lot. This 70 minute documentary does an excellent job in breaking that down in 70 minutes. I think she has 56 interviews. So that's a crazy amount of people to have wow. on in 70 minutes. So it's a quick moving documentary. It goes around the globe literally to like, I don't know, 15 or 20 different countries all over the U S to interview people that are in Bitcoin mining that can kind of share their lived experience and talk about the benefits that it's bringing to communities from an energy standpoint. So that is going to be on Friday, the 15th. I think doors will open at seven and we're trying to have the showing at eight. 
Um, do you guys want to, I mean, I, out, out of all the three events, is this one of the ones that maybe is, is, is peaking your interest uh, as well? Tower, you said you were into the mining. Are you also looking forward to the, uh, the dirty I'm coin for it. Yes. I, I have purposely like not looked at anything about dirty coin. I don't want it to be spoiled for myself. I, I trust people that make it. I know a lot. It's great. I know it's going to be, it's going to tell me all the stuff that I want to hear that like Bitcoin mining's good. So <laughs> I'm pumped for it. Um, I can't wait to see it. I know it's going to be really well done. I'm sure there's a lot of people interviewed that I, I'd, be curi- I'd be curious to see um, how they frame it, because that's always a topic that, you know, there's the FUD around Bitcoin mining, energy consumption's bad. I mean, I was on a college reunion trip like three weeks ago, and people were asking what I was doing. And I said, I'm into Bitcoin mining. And, and they were like, well, this is bad for the environment. It uses as much energy as Norway or something. And and if you don't practice it, like it, you kind of feel, have you ever guys like felt like an idiot where you like struggle to defend the thing that you focus all your time on? And I'm like, I didn't have a polished answer and I felt so silly. And I was like, damn, that guy definitely thinks Bitcoin mining fat. And so uh, if, if there's 57 interviews, perfect. I'll, I hopefully one of them will stick with me and I'll be able to just like regurgitate that. Why are you also uh, as bullish as Tyler is on this one? No, I, I am. And so I was in Nashville for the first time. Uh, you my first Bitcoin conference uh, in Nashville. And I was originally like planning on going to like this dirty coin screening. I ended up going to like the Compass meetup. And, you know, I, some of the advice I got, you know, it was a business trip. And I was like, you know, the talks are recorded. You know, you can watch the videos after. And you're just like, okay, yeah, I should go to the Compass meetup. I'll watch dirty coin after. And then when I went to watch it after, I was like bombed. I was like, I didn't know it was like exclusive screenings. I was like, no, I missed my chance. I was like, so I've been trying to hunt down this this screening i'm like so pumped that it's coming to space like what a natural you know collaboration we're super appreciative of, of jared you and, and the team at compass for for thinking of that for one and that then making it happen i think it's going to be you know an awesome you know experience and that's exactly what like the type of thing we want to be doing at the space right so we have like these phenomenal bitcoin creators you know pouring their their heart and soul into something it's like we we have a community space like i'm super bullish on like this third space aspect right it's like you know, bring your work to the space where it can be, uh, you know, appreciated, you know, I think, you know, it's all its glory. So I think it's, it's such a natural fit. And um, the, the hype is real, you know, it's like, we've had, you know, a bunch of interest in our member chat, a lot of people think it's really cool that we're able to do something like that, you know, at the space. And so that's definitely something I'm looking forward to the opening week. Yeah, I think that the documentary is going to provide you with all the ammo you'll need Tyler. So on your next Perfect. 15 or 20 or 10 year reunion, you friend, your friends won't think you're like boiling the oceans, which is a good well, they'll thing. feel dumb by then 15 years from now, but <laughs> that's, that's, they'll feel a different way about Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining. I'm yeah. sure. Um, why? Well, I felt the same. We were originally going to go as a, as a team to go see the, the screening on Wednesday in Nashville before the Bitcoin conference kicked off. But we obviously had our minor master with, with mining with Brad. And we had that really nice event over at was at Nissan stadium, which I actually thought was really beneficial. And I think I like, I like where your head was. Cause that's kind of where we were. It's like, no, the networking is way more important. The IRL networking in a digital space is priceless and this lives online. If we want to see it, we'll figure out a way to see it. So it's really exciting. And well, I will spoil one thing about the movie. And this is one of the biggest takeaways I had. And I'll spoil it only because on this particular podcast, it was something that Alana and I kind of dove into a little bit. There's a scene when they're in, I want to say Malawi or I believe it's Malawi. And they're talking with a woman who's now basically got energy to her remote village. And she's just so thankful to have access to electricity. And the person who's interviewing her is behind the camera is like, do you know what Bitcoin is? She's like, I have no idea what that is. That was the moment that like, for me broke the Mm -hmm. whole thing. I'm like, that is the benefit of Bitcoin mining. It can decentralize and create rural incentives to be able to bring energy to people. And so a lot of people in the U S I feel comfortable saying this. I travel a lot internationally and I've done a lot of work on the ground in communities that don't have electricity and don't have running water. And so when you don't perceive the lack of electricity to be a problem, you don't see the solution as anything valuable. You don't see Bitcoin mining as anything valuable. You just see it as something else that's sucking energy from the grid and not adding any benefit at all. Um, and I, so I do think it's harder for people maybe who are stateside who have really good access to energy when there are 
millions, if not billions of people. And Alana has all the numbers in the movie that just don't have energy access. Um, so I think that if you don't understand that there's a problem, you won't look at a solution and see it valuable. Similar to how people who don't think the dollar is broken, don't think Bitcoin is a solution. So it's kind of an interesting one, but that little anecdote within the movie where it's a simple thing. Hey, do you know what Bitcoin is? After she goes on and raves about how she's so happy to have the benefit and, and of energy, when she says she doesn't know, that is what the space needs more of. It needs people who feel the benefit and they don't even understand the entire network. They're just like, no, I, I know I have energy and I didn't before. Thank you for the solution. So I'm, I'm super excited. And I will say, and I wanted to say this to you guys, you guys are setting the bar pretty high. You got the technical Bitcoin mining meetup, then you're going to have dirty coin. And now let's get in and we can talk a little bit about the inauguration. You're setting the bar high. So you're going to have to start doing a lot of magic tricks month in and month out, I think, to keep everyone happy. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if you're cool, like, can we talk a little bit about the inauguration? And this is probably the, the piece out of these three that I know least about. So why can you give us an overview of what you're hoping for for the inauguration event, what people should be expecting? I know you and I were texting uh, yesterday because we were talking about wardrobe. It sounds like it may be a, more of a classier event than a Jack Mahler's hoodie. So if you want to outline that, that'd be great. <laughs> Totally. So we just kind of want to, you know, cap off a, a fantastic week with really just, you know, a celebration, a celebration of our community and, you know, everybody that came together to to make this possible. And, you know, we have, you know, I think we're up to, you know, close to 65 members now, which is, is fantastic. And like the individual support, um, we couldn't be more appreciative of. But, you know, it's like we can't do this alone. This is not, you know, individual effort. We have four founding corporate sponsors uh, as well. Uh, you know, obviously Compass being a part of that. Um, Casa Unchained and, and Freddie being our, our others. And so um, just, you know, given how, you know, excited you guys at, at Compass have been, you know, involved, we just wanted to, you know, celebrate everybody to to make this possible. So we're trying to throw an awesome party. You know, it's like, don't get too many excuses to dress up nowadays. I even got the hoodie on today myself, you know, so we just want to, you know, give people an excuse to be proud of what they contributed to. Uh, and so, uh, we'll have food trucks, you know, bar, great music. We'll, we'll say some sappy words, you know, just to, to thank everybody. But it, it's really just meant to, you know, be a awesome experience where, where people can come, you know, celebrate, you know, the, the Bitcoin community and, and the space and everybody who made it possible. Yeah. And we're selling tickets to this. So you don't have to be a member. That's the key. Obviously, we want our members to be there. We want our sponsors to be there as well. But if, if people just want an introduction to the space and want to come to these opening launch week events and, and uh, get a feel for it and network and socialize and shake hands and, um, you know, that's how we all kind of got into it. That's you just got to take that leap of faith. I, um, I literally quit my job and flew to a Bitcoin mining a conference six hours after I quit. And that was how I got introduced into this industry. So if you're that type of person as well, we'd love to have you. There's plenty of room. I think you hit on something that's huge there that you don't have to be in Denver to show up on Thursday, come to the Bitcoin technical mining meetup, come to dirty coin, and then come to the inauguration event. If you can find a cheap flight, and I know there's a lot of Southwest cheap flights going into Denver, you should consider hopping over, getting an Airbnb or grabbing a hotel, or I don't know, reaching out to the space. I don't know what you guys got. If you guys have people that have spare rooms or something, that seems pretty Bitcoin. But come on into Denver. I think that that's a really important thing as you just laid out, Tyler. You don't need to be a member. And this is really open for anyone. It's not just people in Denver. I know myself personally, I will be there and a couple other team members from Compass. We are flying in to be there for the menu of uh, the menu of events, as I've called it, as I call it internally, because it, there's just going to be a lot of alpha and a lot of value. And I think it's also going to be a pretty intimate events, which are exciting because sometimes you're at an event and there's just too many people. And it, I don't know, you don't maybe get to work the room or talk to people and, you know, really check in with what everyone's doing. Um, Talk to me a little bit more about the music. I know this is a weird one, but what, what kind of music are we doing in Denver right now? It's a great is question. It country? <laughs> That's a great question. We're trying to leverage our contacts. So we have uh, a, a great member and, and friend, and uh, she does a great show herself and DJs a lot of conferences, DJ Valerie B. Love. So shout out to her. Um, we need to confirm with her schedule. I, I, I need to check. Uh, she might be in El Salvador, but that would be fantastic if she was a live DJ for it. Um, otherwise, we got surround sound throughout the building, so we'll have to pick something special. And uh, Jared, I don't know if you uh, know this, but one of uh, Tatum's many talents is uh, getting behind the DJ booth. So we might I didn't get know a that. DJ Tatum. 
I only share this now. I used to be a DJ in Guatemala for about two years. Oh, no kidding. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so I've done weddings. Out, and that good. was only because at the time when I was living in Guatemala, I was like, how can I get paid to go to the bar? And I was like, I'll be a <laughs> DJ. And I have gigs and gigs and gigs of hip hop on my hard drive. So I became a hip hop DJ, which was very easy to corner the market, let me tell you. This is not like an impressive thing, right? So um that's awesome maybe uh yeah that's interesting i didn't know that about tatum because i was i was interested i was just spending some time with some guys from compass who live in denver and i feel like they had mentioned that they listen to country music so i was like oh maybe there'll be country music um so yeah i've also heard denver's the base capital of the world i don't even know what that means yeah pretty heavy ed i don't know not yeah. really my speed but uh one thing i do want to to emphasize and thank you for bringing up jared too that's why you know we wanted to tie, you know, these three you know, events and, you know, combination with each other to make it, you know, worth people coming to, to Denver, making the trip out uh, and, and really, you know, stacking that week with a, a ton of high signal. You know, we really are trying to pride ourselves just like the space is, you know, signal, not noise. And um, so like Tyler said, tickets are available on our website, Denver.space. You can find links on our socials, uh, Space Denver on Twitter, uh, I think intern at the space uh, on Nasser, but um <laughs> We had our, our first guest from out of town come in yesterday for my event, uh, the financialization of Bitcoin. Matt Dines from Build Asset Management came in and it was just awesome because he noted flying in from Seattle. Um, you know, they had a you know, short opening in their schedule and he's like, we made this a 24 hour trip and it could have been easier. You know, Denver's obviously, you know, a huge hub. That's one of the things, you know, we feel fortunate about just given our location that it's like, not one, not only easy for people to get to, but also, you know, Colorado attracts, you know, a bunch of, of visitors different times of the year where it's like beautiful summers in the mountains or beautiful winters in the mountains, you know, skiing and whatnot. So we're hoping to, you know, attract a lot of people just, you know, on their way through, but you can fly into Denver or multiple different airlines, a huge hub. You can take the train, you know, directly into town and we're about, you know, a, a 10 minute walk off, you know, the train line. So, uh, we do, are working on some hotel sponsorships where you can find our, uh, partnerships where you can find more information on our website if you are planning on on traveling in or you know get a hold of somebody at the at the space but you know we got fortunate you know on a couple you know breaks one just being how easy it is to, to get to the space so thank you for bringing that up yeah i think that people will come in not just the compass people but i'm sure other people will see as we make some noise and we move some things forward they'll be like oh you know what i can get a cheap flight i can get a cheap room there's going to be a lot of people that i want to see and hang out. And I think one of the things that you sit on Bitcoin X long enough, you'll get like many, many bouts of FOMO because you'll see stuff that happens and you're like, oh man, that would have been cool. I want to shout out, speaking of X, on the night of the 10th, which is the Sunday before we have the Thursday, Friday, Saturday lineup, we will be holding a space at 8 p.m. Eastern. So 6 p.m. Mountain uh, 5 p.m. Pacific while I'm at it. And we will be kind of diving in probably a little bit more, maybe repeating some of the stuff we've had here. I think we'll also have a little bit more details around stuff as we dive into that week and we really start to you know get people to make a decision. And if they're in Denver, they need to be there. If they're not in Denver and they can get a cheap flight, we'll set that up. That's going to be great. Um, I also want to shout out, before I pass you guys the mic and ask you to drop some links about where we can get more information. I know you just dropped the website, but we can do that again. Check the link in the description of this episode for the meetup for the technical Bitcoin mining meetup. That's going to be there. I think it may be on the website as well, but I know I'll be leaving that there. And we'll also leave the link to sign up for dirty coin. That will also be in the description and I'm sure we'll be on the website. It can't, you know, we that, that could be a million places and it would only be a, a good thing. So as far as, the website, I'm assuming we can get all the links up there by the time that this pod goes live. Is that probably right, Wyatt? Yeah, absolutely. Tyler's our uh, in-house <laughs> website developer, so <laughs> I'll throw that back at him. Yeah, I'll be able to get it up there. Yeah, sweet, because I think we're already getting asked and we're getting a headcount. I know I have the, the, the headcount from you guys for, for a couple of the events and we just need to get all those in, so it's going to be good. This episode will be dropping on what? I have to look at my calendar, but it will probably be, you know, we slated this to come out and it will be on the 29th, which will be roughly two weeks before the first Bitcoin mining uh, technical meetup. So. If you're listening to this, please go ahead and check out the links in the description and all that. Um, Tyler and Wyatt, I want to thank you guys for hopping on here and, you know, jamming with me about all the stuff that's going on at Space Denver. 
Thanks, Jared. Yeah, I mean, it's been fantastic. Great conversation. I just want to reiterate, like, my takeaway from this conversation is like every Bitcoin company essentially has to be an education company at the same time. And I've tried I've learned this through my own experience, it really starts to click when you have these in person conversations, these in person meetups, these in person presentations and panels and everything. I mean, looking at the compass website, you guys got a whole list of banner items for content, we're trying to do the same thing with the space Denver, Denver, it was just a match meant to be, you know, we really can help each other out, educate the local community and then reap the rewards. I'm looking forward to it. For sure. And, and Wyatt, could you actually go ahead and shout out all of the links that people should be keeping in mind? You can shout out the X. Uh, I know you guys are on Noster, just everything that has to do with the Space Denver. If people are looking to learn more on socials. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you so much for having us, Jared. We're super excited to you know keep building our relationship and very appreciative of your guys' support. And you know, one thing I'll, I'll add to you here is that you know, just given kind of, you know, our bottom up approach and the fact that we're a nonprofit, like one of the things I've been blown away from this experience of getting the space up and running is just like how talented, you know, our little community is. And, you know, it's just like how we've been able to, you know, track people that are just eager to to help each other. And so in doing so, we're making a huge uh, effort at the space to open source as much of the stuff, you know, we've done, whether that's filing a nonprofit or creating our bylaws just to make the next Citadel that much easier to get up and running. Uh, and so you can find that information along with you know, other, uh, our other links here at our website, Denver.space. We're very active on X at Space Denver. Uh, on, we're on Nasser at Intern at Space Denver. Uh, and you can find our, our Zaprat link to purchase tickets to Dirty Coin in the, the soiree. And we'll also have, like uh, Tyler mentioned, a calendar on there. For a list of you know public events we'll have coming up in opening week, but we're also you know having a, a ladies in Bitcoin night you know before that we have some events planned after opening week, and um, you can subscribe to our newsletter at Denver Space to to keep up with everything we're doing. Amazing, amazing! Thank you guys so much for 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 taking the time. If you're listening to this on a podcast platform, please go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, please go ahead and subscribe. Be sure to follow us at Compass Mining on X, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Tyler and Wyatt, I will see you guys in about three weeks' time. See you at Can't the space. Wait,